rainbow lasagna, and DNA. Okay, DNA is usually depicted as this linear double helix, very similar to what we've got here in this illustration. However, it must be remembered that DNA is not just some static object sitting there like that. It is actually always in the process of being unfurled in order to be replicated. So that's what we have here. Right here and right here, we have two different depictions of DNA being unfurled so as to be replicated. On In this zone over here, you can see that it is being unzipped, and we can tell you that it is unzipped by, here you go, right down there, a little, um, a little molecular structure that acts almost like the zipper pull on a regular zipper on your jacket. So this little zipper pull that is somewhere right around here uh, pulls apart the entwined, you know, springy uh, DNA uh, so that the RNA can come along here and essentially use that part that is split apart as a template, that half right there, it matches up what needs to match up with that half right there. And so basically, what I'm trying to show you is that at some point, the DNA is split into either a, a Y shape or a loop here, either as this Y shape right there split apart or as a loop like this. Now, once you begin to see that, you can see how this can oscillate, meaning these two sides either moving up and down in tandem or one bulging out like this while one stays like this, or of course the opposite direction, one staying like this and one bulging out like this. Okay, let's bring it all home to the lasagna. First up, the lasagna is, flying rainbow lasagna is named flying rainbow lasagna because the edge of the shape is similar to the curly edge of a lasagna noodle. It is also very similar to the shape of DNA. Now, also, you must remember that this right here is a two-dimensional static drawing of a three-dimensional shape that actually rotates. And beyond rotating, it has a motion like this and like this and like this while it is being formed. So what you're looking at is a montage or a, an overlapping picture of this object as it is rotating, uh, let's say, in the world of energy. So the flying rainbow lasagna, the edge viewed from above, looks something like this. And you can also, when you see a loop or a circle like that, imagine it oscillating, basically with some portions pointing in like this and some por portions pointing out like this and then switching to be the out portions pointing, in portions pointing out and the out portions pointing in. And the flying rainbow lasagna is created by the addition of another dimension. So I've talked about this before, and there's too much to recap. Hopefully you will go back, look at previous lessons, such as the formation of the flying rainbow lasagna and the origins story of the flying rainbow lasagna. But suffice it to say in this lesson that this negative space within the lasagna shape is another dimension, and it is the presence of that extra dimension that actually holds this uh, into the shape that it is, instead of this, this um, point and this point collapsing together like that, those two points are being held apart by the presence of this extra dimension that's in there. Because as I have explained in previous lessons, this violet point at this end and this violet point and this end are actually not separate points at all. They are actually both the same point, but it is vibrating or oscillating up and down so quickly as if it to be in one place at the same time. Or you could think about it as it is one point that exists while the universe around it jumps up and down. So now let's make the connection. We have, as seen from above, the flying rainbow lasagna, this loop, which is shaped basically like that and which oscillates. And then we have over here, essentially when you have DNA that is unlooped, that is uh, pa partially unzipped in the process of being replicated, you have this structure right here that is essentially a loop within the linear rope of DNA. And now let's talk for a moment about epigenetics. 
epigenetics is the code that rules the code. So basically, in DNA, there's a lot of information. You could think of it like a book with pages. Just drawing these pages right here so you can see what I'm, what I'm talking about. Right? A book with pages. And when the book is open, some of the pages are apart, and you can actually see the information that's inside of them. But some of the pages remain together, and those, that, those pages contain information that one does not have access to. Well, it is exactly the same thing with your DNA, which is coiled tightly like a spiral. Some parts are coiled together very closely, and the DNA cannot access those areas in order to replicate them, uh, to access them, rep get their information, use them as blueprints, and replicate cells based upon those blueprints or body parts. And then there are other parts of DNA that are unfurled where it is very possible to read the information that's just like the open pages of a book. So there is still a great deal of question um, a lot of area that is not known about what makes certain genes be activated. Why are some of these pages in the book uh, readable? Why are some of them not? And a much more interesting topic is what happens when we begin to open up these parts of the pages so that we actually can read them? Well, the flying rainbow lasagna is something that allows us to do that. This shape right here, the concept of it um, embodying that concept because it takes a mental leap in order to add another dimension. Uh, embodying that concept and the way that that information then affects one's genes because genes contain information and one, when one learns new things, one's genes change. And so by splitting apart the DNA, instead of it being stuck together, all of a sudden you've got these two separate areas there can be new combinations that wouldn't be able to be put together if this were just a two-dimensional linear structure. So again, when you're looking at the edge of the flying rainbow lasagna, you're seeing this as if it is a two-dimensional structure and it would be something like that. But viewed from above, you can see that it's actually shaped like this, right? It's actually a three-dimensional structure. And look, here you have some of the DNA on one side and then let's switch colors here you have some of the DNA on the other side and all of a sudden with these dance partners this dance partner can do -si do with this one over here and this one can get together with this one over here in combinations that would not have been possible previously so essentially I am telling you that the flying rainbow lasagna opens up one's genes to new and interesting combinations that can lead to let's say greater perception greater understanding and um, uh, untapped possibilities that exist within the human form. So as always, this is a big topic. This is just a little taste of the idea of what I'm talking about when I say that the flying rainbow lasagna is a key to immortality and also a key to manifestation or the possibility of controlling physical reality with internal, let's say, thought and spirit and emotion. So thank you for joining me on Lessons for Full Spectrum Humans. Tune in again for more information about your light body.